You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN. It's an historic night in Houston from a sold out Cougar softball stadium. The starting pitcher in the Big 12 debut against Texas. Such a turn of events in 12 months for Paris Lehman. Off speed pitch, bounce to second, backhand play, Boutte. Her throw is in time to get Caden Henry. This is a great defensive play for the Cougars. Breaking balls, put too much strain on the elbow. She had Tommy John surgery. But she's a reinvented pitcher as that's popped up into shallow right fields. On comes Cardin to make the catch, and there's two down. That's the way this play should have gone. Defensively, if you're tracking the ball back as a weekend against San Diego and UCLA, there's a line drive into right center. It's down. It's going to roll to the base of the wall. Kennedy Thomas quickly to second. The tag, not in time. It's a sliding double for Jolie Mitchell. And this ball is out of the first 20 games. And she pops it up high in the infield. It's Esmond, the shortstop, back on the dirt to make the catch in Lehman Strands one. And this Paris looked great in this uh, circle this time, and we'll look forward to seeing what the bats are going to do tonight. Inning second most on the Longhorns. And that's lying to left center. It's hit pretty well. It is gone. On to the berm from Lair Boutte, and Houston jumps in front. And Lair gets every bit of this pitch. The pitch is a little bit more of the white part of the plate, I think, than Sitlali wanted to be. The ball was up in the zone, and she absolutely tattoos this ball over the left. Gutierrez. And she gets this pitch, gets full extension, and just creeps out over the left field fence. This is a short port, so I know we're going to see a lot of home runs. And that's ripped down the right field line into the corner. Kennedy Thomas runs well. She's into seconds with the double. Power in that bat. Coach Vesley just told her to look a little bit up in the zone. And she Perfect. drills it to right center on cue and over the fence. A line drive, two run homer for Jasmine Rollin. And Houston has three runs here in the first. I think Coach Vesley called this perfect when she looked at Jasmine and said, make her have the ball up in the zone. It was probably out of the park in about 1.5 seconds. Made a solid landing out there underneath the Coug. And she's ready to celebrate with her teammates. And again, that Texas now in her second season at Houston. She's thriving here with the Cougars. She's supposed to be their number one RBI person as well. A bounce to the right side. Last season. And it will be interesting to watch as that's drilled to right and gone. That thing left the yard so quickly. A line drive home run off the bat of Taria Coleman and Houston has four runs here in the first. And Taria got every bit of this pitch. She absolutely clobbered it got out over the right field fence very quickly. And she really drives this pitch, gets full extension, and hits it off of the sign out there in right field. A pitching change here for Texas today or later this weekend. But her bat has been a difference maker, and she squibs it towards short. Across the diamond for the second out. Smith is retired fight for her position once again. It was a very deep outfield. The outfielders were hitting. And Kayla Nita had grabbed that left field job and she pops it up high on the infields. And the catch is made by Alicia. Lucas is on, lifting it up to him. High pop up into shallow left. And Yesman takes charge for the first out. And she gets to balls that many other shortstops don't get to. And she draws a walk here. She's on first with one out here in the second. This is a really good at bat. Uh, Lines it to right. Cardin reads it well, makes the catch. And there's two down. Good retired on the lineouts. And she hit this ball. Chop towards second. Boutte charging. Sidearm throw to first in time. And the side is retired. This is a really good job by Texas putting the ball in play, but also. 
It's hit to short. Nice hands to her left, Viviana Martinez across to good for the first out here in the second. And I One and two on Cardin, top of the order, Lair Boutte coming up, it's ripped. Nice backhand play on the short hop by Leanne Good. She steps on the back. That's driven down the left field line. Good outfield position there as Date makes the catch in foul ground. And that's some of those you know, strategic things that people. Here comes the 3 2. Drilled into right field to base hit. It's pass card and it rolls to the wall. Dayton takes a turn and hits the break. She thought about a triple, instead gets back to second with a leadoff double. Used to in the American the last few seasons. There's a hard ball up the middle off the glove of Butte, and Texas is on the board. Dayton comes in on the hard ground ball from Caden Henry. And this is a, a great at bat by Caden. That ball of Butte's glove and able to score Bella Dayton from second for their first RBI of the game. Here comes Hope Troutwine. Henry's running, and you see the speed on display. She steals second without a throw. Eighth steal of the season in 10 Texas. And Scott walks on four pitches. All of a sudden, Lehman's losing control here in the third. The other two on, nobody out. First pitch, a high fly ball. Off the video board. A three-run shot on the first pitch to Jolie Mitchell. And the Longhorns have tied it at four. And Jolie Mitchell gets every bit of this ball of the U of H scoreboard as it exits the ballpark. And immediately when it left the bat, you could see that Shelby Smith knew it was out of here. In there. Yeah, her lower body just stays so quiet. Jammed into shallow right. Here comes Cardin. It's Boutte, the second baseman, with an over the shoulder catch. She also popped a shortstop her first time. She hammers that to left. A rocket onto the berm. Texas in front. A solo shot from Alyssa Washington. And Alyssa came out swinging. She's fired up for her team. The captain of the Longhorn team, but she hits a major, major laser over there with Texas. But the ball traveled pretty quickly, and she knew about the time that she hit uh, touch first base that it was going to be out of the ballpark. Ching is still a bit of an unknown for Coach Vesley and Houston. Popped into foul ground, long run for Janiah Thomas, and she runs into the wall and makes the catch. She's very hard on herself. He says, you're not going to bat 700. You have to live with failure more often. Right, right. Chops this to third. Fair ball. Nice play throwing from a knee there by Jasmine Rollin. And two thirds her career high two years ago. Chopped towards shortstop. Martinez has it strong throw to first to get the speedy Kennedy Thomas. One year at NC State, now in her third season at Texas. And there's a soft squibber to third. Scott has it, strong throw to first. Rollins retired, two down for check here in the third, which is 64. She's about halfway there. Bounces it back to second. Washington over to first, a very nice inning for check. I really like the way this infield is playing short. Joke that she led them in hitting last year. And he asked her, how'd you do that? She's just a very steady player at the plate. And there's a line drive to third. Well positioned, Jasmine Rollin for the catch. I really like how Jasmine Rollin strike. And that's a pitch that at Seton Hall might have been called a strike here in the Big 12. It's called a ball. And Dayton draws a walk. Coach Vesley has talked about the staff, the pitchers adjusting to what a power five. Hit to left, hit very well. Back goes to Naya Thomas. She looks up. An opposite field home run from Caden Henry. The ball now flying out for the Longhorns. Texas extends its lead to 7-4. And in the previous pitch, she was showing bunt to Jasmine Rollin. And she gets all of this pitch, goes the other way with it. It's hit 
thrown over the outer half part of the plate and right off of the scoreboard. She's pumped. Such strength for Henry. She swung late on that, just kind of a flick of the wrist. Popped up high in the air to right. Cardin comes in. Blair Boutet, the second baseman, makes the catch. Two down here in the fourth. Outs. Good at bat. Mitchell draws a walk. In her career, she has more walks than strikeouts. Enter Opposing pitchers are now throwing to her. Off-speed pitch is taken for a ball. Mitchell steals second. And that hits her in the helmet. She's okay, she'll take first. Pitch up and in, catches her in the helmet. She's wanted to play for Texas, now I'm the captain and have the C on my chest. She lifts that to right, Cardin underneath it. Washington flies out, Smith strands too. Yeah, with Houston, have her come home. And she's on first base. First walk issued by Estelle Check. In. And a one-two count. Bounce to third. Scott has it to second. The relay is dropped at first by Good. It would have been a double play. Melissa's interruption with Coleman trying to take her out. And the ball just trickled away from Good. With Janiah Thomas. Maybe too careful in Janiah's eyes. And now she is hit by the one-two pitch and she'll take first. She kept telling Coach Vesley, I'm ready to go. And Atwood saved her back there making that snag. And Espin will take first. Yeah, it looked like it hit her on her, on her right leg, maybe right above her knee. Blowing across the field towards left center. And I agree with you. I think the check's kind of throwing the ball just pretty straight into the plate. Squib towards third. The play is at first. No tag at first on the wide throw from Scott across to good. Wilkins, the pinch runner, scores. Makes it seven to five. The tag was actually applied, wants them to take a look at it. Here where Cardin puts the ball in play. She catches the ball up the line. You know, it's very difficult to see. I almost thought she might have got the backside of her opponent. Bute, a home run to left her first time. She fly to left her last. She pops it up towards shortstop. Tough play, it falls in. Janiah Thomas scores. Esman stops at third. Houston back within a run on a blue hit from Lair Boutte. Hands of these left-handed hitters, and Lair's just strong enough to kind of muscle that over an excellent shortstop and get herself an RBI. Her first time. Bounces to second. A look to second, and a wide throw past. Good at first. Two-run score. Esman followed by Cardin. And Houston has four across in this fourth inning. Back in front, eight to seven. And even this, though this doesn't look like anything very difficult, when you shift your eyes to look all the way back and then turn back to first, sometimes your throw can be off just a little bit, and it's usually to the right, which makes everyone safe. But these weaknesses might lie. That smash to left center, slicing and over the fence. A line drive homer for Jasmine Rollin, her second long ball tonight. And a three run shot as Houston in front. A little part of the plate and just ropes it. I thought it was gonna hit off of the wall and ricochet all the way back into shortstop. It was hit so hard. Great stroke there by Jasmine Rollin, really building her confidence, moving her up in the lineup for the Cougars. Cantu aboard on a five-pitch walk. They've worked this week on trying to bring the ball up toward first base whenever they're bunting. That gets away. Atwood will throw down. Cantu takes second. Experience in the Pac-12 with Arizona State. Cantu, of course, at Texas for a couple of years after a freshman season at Texas Tech. Coleman was fooled. The throw down to first, advancing to third, Bree Cantu, as Coleman strikes out. 
Hits. And there's another hit for Houston into left. Good swing there from Shelby Smith. Can't two scores from third. Shelby Smith helping herself, and it's 12-7 Houston. Turner that goes out past the shortstop for Texas. Just really smokes it. Gets herself an RBI. Eight runs here in the fourth. Lifted to left. Dayton towards the line. Makes the catch and the inning is over. But the Cougars. Really since the very first pitch of this game. Lifted into center. Kennedy Thomas in left center makes the catch. Martinez retired 0 for 2 with the walk. Against a very good schedule. High pop up on the infield. Rollin takes charge. The third baseman makes the catch. Good is retired. And there's two down in the fifth. It looks like to me that Shelby might be going up a little bit, maybe a little rise. Line towards left center, long run. It's Thomas, the left fielder, cutting in front of Kennedy Thomas. Janiah puts it away. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Shelby. So many Texas fans, so many Houston fans here sharing the stadium together tonight. Esmond fooled a good off-speed pitch there. One softball that Coach Nadia just made it make sense, and I, I really appreciate that about that. Cardin to shortstop, Martinez across to good. Cardin retired for Lair Boutte, two down in the fifth. Bounced up the middle. Backhand play there for Alyssa Washington over to first, and Simpson has a one, two, three fifth. And the Texas Longhorns need to get the power because of her hand, but she's a leadoff hitter. She's just sitting in the nine hole. And she draws a walk, a really good at bat from Bella Dayton, who takes first. Offenses in the country. They've scored seven runs. Bounce to the right side. Boutte has it, takes the sure out to Cantu. Dayton takes second, one down here in the Texas sixth. An FCA poll and Softball America. High chopper, fair ball over the glove of Cantu. Scott hustling to second. Top to third. Rowland looks to second. Late throw, not in time. She double clutched. And now there's two aboard for the dangerous Reese Atwood. She ropes it to right center. It bounces off the base of the wall. Scott scores. Mitchell held it third. RBI double for Reese Atwood. And it makes it a 12 to nine game. Well, I thought this was a good pitch by Shelby Smith. She was out over the plate, almost a ball. But Reese Atwood was able to take the barrel of her bat and hit it right off of the base of the fence and score one. Mia, Mia Scott comes in easy. Hits her right, Cardin comes in. She makes the catch. Mitchell tags from third, the throw in time! Amanda Cardin throws out Jolie Mitchell to end the sixth. This is. The call is safe. The inning continues for Texas. Jolie 0 for 2 with the walk tonight. She walked against Lehman. Hopped up towards second. Lair Boutte and shallow right makes the catch and the inning is over. That was a long, really, really. 3-1 count, hitters count. And Thomas takes first. She has good speed. Jasmine Rollin. And Rollin fooled again by the changeup. No throw needed down to first, so the base runner there, and now it's Bree Cantu. Yeah, I think if Mike White 
when he thinks about how Sophia Simpson can tonight here at the stadium and maybe the hardest thrower that we've seen here tonight at the stadium as well. Thomas is running. The pitch gets to the backstop. Thomas stops at second. Thomas standing on second. And to the right side, Alyssa Washington, sidearm over to good. And it'd be Thomas up to third and two down in the six. And you know, Matt likes to hit that, those blasts. High fly ball to right at the warning track. Henry makes the catch. Coleman just missed it. Yeah, she just got underneath the O2. Script is short. Esman fields, throws in time. Close play at first. Good is called out on the throw from Andy Esman. Hit to second. Two hops for Lair Boutte. Her throw in time. Maloney tried the head first slide. Two down for Texas in the seventh. Two balls, two strikes on Bellet Dayton. Strike three, Paris Lehman strikes out Bella Dayton, and Houston enters the Big 12 with its first win over a top 10 team in 10 years. This is a great matchup. The bats came to play, the pitchers came to play, the fans came to play. Everybody in Houston is very excited about this team. Great win for the University of Houston. She's the Big 12 opening starter for Houston. She leaves the game, comes back to close it out against number one, Texas. What I did like about Texas is I like their resilience. They were staying up in the game, down in the game. The momentum changes. I think defensively, for the most part, they look excellent.